pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and have a seat. We'll proceed with roll call. Okay, uh, Ronald Knuff. Present. Kenneth Hall. Present. Bonnie Allman. Here. Trevor Stone. Here. Ronald Glassick. Here. Judith Haldeman. Here. Jason Donahue. Present. Mason Smolinek. Here. Julia Kutzler. Here. Mayor Anthony Pristag. Present. Moving on to hearing of persons present, if you have any comments, stand up. Come to the microphone, state your name and address for the record. Uh, yes, good evening. My name is Stephen Hardy. I am the VP of Real Estate for Hyman Companies. Uh, I'm here tonight uh, to represent 1204 Main Street, um, LLC. It's property located at 1204 Main Street, um, uh, 14 unit apartment complex. Um, so tonight I'm here. Hopefully, I can answer any questions you guys might have in regards to uh, the denial of us providing our private trash hauler uh, at the property for those 14 units in lieu of the, uh, the borough provided service. Um, our intention is to place a four to eight yard dumpster uh, with two to three 96 gallon ten, um, toters within the parking lot limits. The service will take place weekly for recycling and trash. Uh, uh, if the service needs need to be adjusted based on volume, we are prepared to take uh, to do that as uh, as um, the units grow and as individuals move in and whatnot. Uh, based on our prior experience and expertise of Republic Services, it was suggested that the four-yard dumpster and the toters uh, cans would cover the needs. Um, Republic will confirm this and the, loca the location of the dumpsters once they are given the go-ahead for service. Um, uh, I'm here also to ensure that you guys are confident in us and able to uh, maintain this service as <coughs> We have obtained um, service agreements with Republic Waste Management for many, many years um, uh, to include 20 plus different locations throughout Allentown, um, Williamsport, Pottsville, a uh, bunch of different locations throughout uh, Eastern Pennsylvania. So, so um, uh, we work hand in hand with these companies. Um, I have a direct line into their their uh, uh, individuals, their customer service, their, um, uh, their management team in order to take care of whatever needs are possible. So it is, um, it is uh, uh, it's one of those things that we will be able to uh, uh, address with the utmost <laughs> urgency whenever any kind of problems pop up. Um, if there is any problems, we would expect the borough to notify us so that we can make sure that we take care of those immediately as well. All right. Um, it, it is our understanding that this type of request has been denied. Um, our understanding is that no one has ever been turned down for this, so it was quite a shock for us to, uh, to hear that it was not, uh, it was not approved. Um, I have some pictures here uh, regarding just in our neighborhood, there's a bunch of different types of dumpsters that are being used from different uh, different haulers throughout. And if you guys, I don't think I brought enough, but here's, uh, here's just a few that you can get to think out. <coughs> so this is just in, in uh, just in the neighborhood right around Pogo. That, uh, just in that um, general vicinity, there's three or four different locations that I could walk through really quickly and uh, and see. So, um, so I know that it's something that the borough is is willing to willing to do. Um, um, one thing I want to make sure that you guys understand is that we do not undercut the service. Um, 
In fact, I would say that most of our locations are over-serviced. Uh, the biggest issues that we run into is when there's a legal dumping or something like that comes in the hand, then you know, obviously it's a, a volume that we're not usually scheduled for. And then, then we just work with the, uh, with the hauler to make sure we take care of it immediately. And as you, as most of you I'm sure are aware, um, our companies are planning on converting the brewery across the railroads there into a 70 unit apartment complex. Um, I would seven? think it- Did you say seven? 70. 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70 yeah. Um, uh, with my experience and with the public's experience, and I'm not sure, uh, you know, everyone on this, I don't know everyone's experience on this council, but. Um, it's probably uh, most, I would, I would think that it's the best interest of, of us, of the borough, uh, if we took over those responsibilities. Um, it is quite a burden, uh, just understanding, dealing with it for over the course of time at our buildings in Allentown and whatnot. Um, and I don't think that's a burden that the, uh, the borough really wants to take on. In closing, um, it's, a, it's with the utmost respect I stand here tonight to discuss this issue. Once, I, once again, I remind you the Hyman companies is experienced in managing these waste, uh, waste collection. Um, we have the contacts within the, uh, with the haulers, whether it's for public, whether it's waste management. Um, those are our two others, but those are the two core ones that we, we utilize. Um, uh, we've, We've worked really hard over the course of time to, uh, to get better, to be better at servicing this type of thing and dealing with the issues that come with it, whether it be illegal dumping, whether it be overfilling of dumpsters, whether it be uh, you know, just uh, individuals not putting the trash where it's supposed to be. You know? so, um, and we continue to improve on, that, on, our, on our operations. Our ability to place a dumpster on site for our tenants is, is a much better option than having our, our 14 units place 84 bags on the sidewalk or 14 bulk items on any, on any given pickup day. Um, we're not here because of the, uh, the expense that's involved. Um, in paying the borough, if we have to pay the borough, we'll pay the borough. That's not our intention. There's an expense either way. Um, in fact, it may be less than we pay with the hauler when illegal dumping comes in or we have to call on the, uh, on the hauler to come in service extra for whatever needs may be. Um, you never know, you know how it is. It all depends on how you manage it and how, uh, how you secure it and how you educate the tenants. Um, <coughs> my, com my, purpose, uh, my purpose in coming here tonight is to make sure you guys are aware um, of the burdens that do come with it when you deal with 14, yet alone 70 units. Um, and we're willing to take on that responsibility. Um, I don't believe the borough wants to take calls from us or, or whoever that, uh, in regards to the things that might happen, whether it's illegal dumping or, or overfilling or whatever it may be. So. Um, because trust me, it will happen. Somebody will put a couch outside. Somebody will put a, mm -hmm. um, a mattress outside. And you know, we're equipped to deal with that you know, very, uh, very timely with, with urgency. Um, uh, I deal with it every day. Every day uh, down in Allentown, it's, uh, we see it on, the month, on a daily basis. So, um, um, I really don't think this is something that the borough wants to deal with. So, you may, very, you may very well lose money as the cost may far exceed the tax revenue that you, you gain for us. So, um, so thank you for your time. Um, if you have any questions for me, I'll do my best to answer anything, anything that you might have. Well, thank you, Mr. Hardy. Questions from the council, please. Um, yeah, yeah, how will this affect the parking? Uh, well, Republic will come in and um, at, at the very, we're looking at a spot 
uh, currently. That isn't a designated parking spot right now at the, uh, I, uh, it's like the southeast corner of the building. Um, but there, there, I believe there is required of 21 parking spots over there. There's plenty more than that. So there might be one parking spot that gets lost depending on republics when they come out, when they do a survey and they make sure that the spot that they pick is a good spot for the truck to come in and out and whatnot. So. Will there be a, will there be a, li a limit on how many bags they could put out? Per, per week? Excuse me? The, the tenants. Mean, uh, we won't be able to calculate that. That's why we will have a dumpster that's large enough for. So, just out of curiosity, how did you base the calculation on how much money? Well, cost? they take um, they take what type of unit is and, um, and uh, how many individuals might be living in that, approximately. Uh -huh. There's they're, uh, mostly efficiencies with what I think there's a one bedroom in there, one or two one bedrooms. Um, so, the expectation is that. There's not gonna be families living in there. It's gonna mostly be uh, one or two individual occupants that will be living in those, in those units. Thank you. Ms. Holliver? No, you answered the questions I had while he was explaining. So thank you, a very thorough explanation. Mr. Hall. Mr. Knopf. Uh, would this be a uh, fenced-in area where the dumpster would be? Uh, depending on the spot that they pick, um, we could easily do that if it's necessary. Um, uh, some of our locations have that, some of them do not. Um, uh, I, I would like to see a fenced-in area. Okay. Yeah, if, we could use, if um, it's approved. It's not a, if it's uh, approved. It's not, a, it's not a big issue. We could actually, uh, easily take care of it. It, uh, it just uh, depends on where the exact location is going to be, and then we would survey it out. So, thank you, Mr. Glasser. Uh, question to tie in the solicitor: What is, and I, I believe I know the answer, but our our current ordinance is for how many units above and beyond? Is it six or eight? Eight. It's eight. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you for answering sorry, that, Mr. I'm Solicitor, sorry. Mr. Thank Stone. I knew the answer. Yeah, that's so. great. Thank you. You get her new rate. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is eight. What? The amount of units that they can get their own hauling is what the number he said it was eight. I, I the thought it was six or eight. The amount of units that they can get their own hauling, there's yeah. nothing in your solid waste ordinance there stating isn't. that. I thought it was. I believe the ordinance states the same thing over eight, doesn't it? Over eight units. I will. I have to agree with Mr. Knuff. I would like to see that fenced in. I look at these pictures and I think they're gross. <laughs> Sorry. You know, um, I think when you start fencing them in and make it, they stay cleaner, they look neater. Don't you? Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> we, we, we usually have more success with tenants um, following the rules um, and the cleanliness of it when they are fenced in. It's an, absolute, it's, a, it's an absolute for sure. I don't have data on that, but <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> the perception is. It's perception. Yeah. And while she's looking that up, I guess my only other comment is, I think we all represent here as the council, and hopefully I'm not speaking out of turn, but we all have our wards that we take care of. We have the residents that pay a fee and I think that was the biggest issue that we have residents and borough people that lived here all their life and paid a higher fee than people coming in and doing other things. And we're looking to make sure that it stays consistent and not to try to make, we want revenue coming in obviously with companies like yourself and the Hyman organization, but we also want to make sure that our residents that are here with their housing and their livelihoods and building their residents and families, that we want to make sure that they're treated fairly. And I think that's a big concern. And I think that's where I think what I gather from a lot of us talking about this. So I hope you understand our feeling why we're looking at this so hard. Sure. Mr. Dunning? The dumpster, will that be located on your property or the leased property of Norfolk Southern? Our property. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the lease that ever gets terminated. Sure. Okay, that's all I have. Mr. Harm. I'm just curious, why would any business, corporation, developer want to handle the waste this way rather than paying per unit? Uh, well, uh, 
from my experience, m most of the time, the cities uh, make us. You know, it's it's obvious. It's a number. A number. There's a number like in Allentown. No matter, regardless, I forget what exactly what the number is, but once you have a property that's over so many units, it's you. You have no other choice. You know, so. Um, It's uh, it's not a fun game to play. I mean, we get it. it uh, it's not easy. Uh, it's a it's a day to day uh, observation that has to take place to make sure that it is it is maintained. You know, so um, you know uh, there is um, there can be cost savings involved. You know, based just based on. Economy of scales, you know what I mean. Obviously, as numbers go higher, economy of scales mm -hmm. takes uh, takes uh, takes place. So that is uh, that is part of the equation. But we uh, we spend a lot of time of our own labor uh, maintaining these things with individuals that um, that are out there every day, cleaning up around them, picking up stuff, uh, doing that kind of thing. So that labor cost um, <coughs> usually offsets what it takes to. Uh, any kind of savings that's involved. So the supervisor that's going to be living there as well, is that part of his responsibility? Uh, I don't, there, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm there was a supervisor that's supposed to be living within that unit? There the possibly will be, I'm not 100% sure. Well, that's what we're or, told. Or, or he will be traveling there from close by. Um, but either way, yeah, there will be someone there on a daily basis. Mr. Brooks, do you have anything to say? Uh, what term of contract would you establish with your own hauler? As far as year, how long? Yeah, would you do it year uh, by we year? We negotiate it, uh, um, minimum one year. Um, some of our contracts are three years, depending on how, uh, uh, how uh, you know, who, what, how the relationship is. So um, anywhere from one to three years would, it, would be a contract that we, we would have. Would that include an escalation of uh, fee? Uh, usually, there is um, there is a built-in yearly increase. Okay. Sound good. It, it it's all dependent on the negotiation. So where do we go from here, if I may ask? Well, maybe reconsider. Put it on the agenda for next. Time. Yeah, I I would recommend. Uh, okay. I can include it on the agenda for the April 18th meeting, and we can revisit okay. your okay. request. <coughs> Thank you would for your detail and explaining sure. your. Would you guys need me here for that uh, for that uh, for that meeting to answer any questions at that point, or? Uh, you're welcome to come, but uh, you know what happens happens. Okay. See, I think it's what has happened here is you explained it better. Sure. That we all understood, right down to we want it pretty. <laughs> we I want gotcha. a pretty dumpster. Hmm. Okay. Um, when, in fact, it's just put to you that you've explained it a little better, so uh, we'll need time to think about it and put it back on the agenda. Sure. Well, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Almond, I think I didn't understand that there would be someone living as like a superintendent at the VFW. That would be at the, that would be at the brewery building. Pardon? That would be at the brewery building. At the brewery building, right. But yeah, the one here that he's talking <coughs> about, the, the there's no super yeah. there. Okay. Is that correct, Mr. Hardy? It's, there, it, there, it's possible that there might be one there. Basically, like because it's not financially um, for 14 units to have an individual just right. for a small amount unit, so we will lump them together with Egypt, um, uh, Egypt location that we have, and then that individual oh, okay. will service both. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you.
Anyone else? Moving on to resolution number 524. Uh, resolution uh, 524 authorizes a grant with Northampton County under their livable landscapes. The grant that we would apply for is a matching grant dollar for dollar. We're asking, we would be asking for $50,000. This would be used to supplement the other grant that is in resolution 6-2024 uh, to complete the paving of the DNL trail. What is the opinion of council? Do I have a motion? to uh, for this resolution 524 I have a question first I'm not I'm not making a motion until I have a question answered so I don't know if we will go through the protocol well, are we supposed to go through the protocol the cool. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. do I have a motion I'll make the motion so I can ask the question. Motion made by Ms. Halderman. Do I have a second? Second. By Mr. Stone. Question? Question. Where is this other 50000 because it's a matching grant that we have? Where is that at, Leroy? I'm trying to look at the Treasury report, but I know we don't have an up-to-date one, but where are we at with grants and matching it? Uh, this would have to come out of the general fund. This was not something that was planned when the budget was prepared, but uh, we do have a little bit of uh, wiggle room. Is that in the general fund checking account? Or yeah, yes. Is that where you're having it? Yes. That's, all my, that's my only question. Thank you. Anyone else? All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? You opposed, Mr. Hall? Want to do a roll call? Folks, these are part of the packet. Hub. Why is everybody surprised to look at these? Yeah. They were in your packet. It's like everybody saw these for the first time. Okay, Tom. Are we not looking at our packets before we get here? It's okay, Tom. Mayor Tom. Thank you. I did look at it, but honestly, I didn't understand it. And I'm not sure I completely understand it right now. <laughs> so. Well, the plan, the plan is to build a trailhead uh, or trail landing uh, up at the north end of the DNL trail across the street from the uh, gazebo. Right. And part of that project is to pave the DNL trail because it is in pretty bad shape. Just the material alone probably costs somewhere in the area, well, just a rough number I figured was $100,000. So, in conjunction with the other resolution, uh, which comes from the Commonwealth uh, finan uh, Financing Authority, uh, will be used to complete the paving of the trail and construct that comfort station at the north end. Okay, so what are we voting on now? On this one, it's a $50,000 that would be used to cover the additional expense on paving the trail. We would do the work ourselves, but we still have to buy all the material. Okay. Thanks for that explanation. Now, th let me just add too, we have the only part of the trail that is paved, and people love it. And they do hope that we can make these improvements in the future. I know I've talked to both Fourth Ward Councilman about 
getting this done. And the, the trail has taken beating over the years. It's still usable, but it can use a new fresh coat of macadam, <laughs> to say the least. All right, a little confused on some of the uh, paperwork, but uh, now that I understand it, I'll give it a yes. Okay, let's have a roll call, please. Okay, if you are in favor of adopting resolution 5-2024, answer yay or yes. If you're opposed, answer no. Ronald Knuff. Yes. Kenneth Hall. Yes. Bonnie Allman. Yes. Trevor Stone. Yes. Ronald Glassick. Yes. Judith Alderman. Yes. Jason Donahue. Yes. Julia Kutzler. Yes. It's unanimous. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to resolution number 6-24. Okay, 6-24 is a request for the Greenways Trails Recreation Program, a grant of $245,000 or less. They may adjust that. From the Commonwealth Financing Authority to be used for a DNL trail repaving and a trailhead landing near the northern entrance to the canal park. This one requires a 15% match. And it then authorizes uh, Council President and myself to execute all documents. Do I have a motion to, for this resolution? Motion. Motion made by Mr. Knopf. Second. Second. That was Donahue. Yes. Was it Donahue? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. JD. Donahue. <laughs> Second by who? Second. <laughs> RK. <laughs> okay. I better turn if there's hearing aids. Questions? Questions. Go ahead, Mr. Glass. So we have a matching grant of fifty thousand for the for the trail. We have a matching grant now of fifteen percent, which is thirty six thousand. Am I un under the understanding that we already put in eighty thousand dollars into this? Or is that not correct? That was on that was on another grant. That was an engineering study that was uh, through the county. Okay. All right, thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Your eyes have it. Consider the delegate an alternate delegate to the annual PSAB conference. Uh, the annual PSAB conference will be held in uh, Hershey on beginning July 2nd, ending on, uh, on June 2nd, ending on June 5th. Historically, the mayor has served as the delegate and then council would need to, uh, by motion, appoint an alternate delegate to the, con to the uh, conference. probably should have two motions, one for the delegate and one for the alternate. Okay, I'll make a motion for the delegate. Well, you're for the, the chair. Make it. Hmm? You're the chair. You oh, I could do that anyway. I just read that in my PSAB book. You have to get, out. get out of your chair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you let us know who's going? Oh, uh, let's see. I was uh, going to make the motion You're for going. You. Ron is going. <laughs> Judy is going. The mayor, the mayor, where'd he get to? There he is. The mayor is going. I am going. Brian is going. And the chief of police is going. Hmm. Do I have a motion? For motion. This? For the delegate. For the delegate, yes. Is that for the mayor? For the mayor to make the delegation, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. yes. Second. Do you have a second by Mr. Knopf? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I forgot the question. Okay. <laughs> All opposed? Ayes have it. Mayor, it's you again. Thank you. <laughs> I will serve you well. Yes, you do. <laughs> do I have a, uh, for an alternate? I have a motion for an alternate. Make a motion that Miss Alderman is going. You're, you're not going? Yeah. Oh, you're not going. Okay. Then I'll make uh, Miss Alderman. The delegate. There you go. Alternate, I'm sorry. <laughs> My motion is for Miss Allman to be the alternate. Do I have a second? Okay. <laughs> Who's the second? Mr. Hall. Mr. Any questions? Miss Allman, do you have any questions? <laughs> no. 
Thank you. You're quite welcome. It's out of respect for you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Consider the request from the Nazareth Area Chamber of Commerce. Nazareth Area Chamber of Commerce is requesting use of the portable van trailer for two of Nazareth's events. Their food truck festival on Saturday, June 8, 2024, and their fall festival on Saturday, October 19, 2024. They will be charged a rental fee of $300 per day, delivery and setup fee of $150, and will be required to provide a certificate of insurance naming the borough as additionally insured. I make a motion they, they allow them to do that. Motion by Mr. Glassley. Second. Second by Kamath. Okay. I, I got Mr. Kamath. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah. yeah. Got to out of respect out of Mr. Lipsonsky. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I'm saying? No, they need a need for, for a bathroom. Yeah, we have to still keep that thing going. Once in a while, we'll throw it out there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry I was taking you it from you. Me too. You're with it. <laughs> okay, she's losing control. Okay. <laughs> Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Consider request of St. Peter Church. St. Peter's Church is requesting use of a portable van trailer for their annual church festival on August 4th, 2024. They'd be charged a rental fee of $300 per day, delivery setup fee of $150 and will be required to provide a certificate of insurance naming the borough as additionally insured. I make a motion to honor that request. Motion made by Mrs. Armand. Do I have a second? Second. By Mr. Stone. Any questions? Question. Question. Go ahead. Well, on, the, on their request, it says that they're requesting a waiver of the rental fee. Yeah, I saw we that. don't grant that anymore. Well, I, I didn't they think we it? did, so that we're not honoring their request. No. So they understand about the $300? It will be in the letter informing them of that. Okay, thank you. That was my question, thank you. Sorry again. You're the alternate, I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> you really deserve a favor, thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No, he's happy. Consider awarding bid for the bucket truck. Enclosed in your packet is a bid submission package from Lee Heighton Ford. Following review by the solicitor, she recommends awarding the bid to Lee Heighton Ford in the amount of $178,288.23. When she went through the review of the other two bids, one was for the chassis of the truck only and the other was for the mechanism that is the bucket operation. It was not a complete unit. The only one that was complete was Lee Heighton Ford. Make a motion that we move forward with this bucket truck recommendation by the solicitor. Second. Motion by Mr. Glassick, second by Ms. Armin. Questions? Or is uh, Lee Heighton Ford, was that uh, where we used to get our fire trucks from back in the days, Kovacs or? No, 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 no. that was somebody else. Okay. Yeah. No, we don't deal with them anymore. All right. I don't know if they're still in I don't think they are. In no, business. Not in business anymore. Did we get a timeline on how long? Uh, uh, no. Okay. okay. Any other questions? That price should have a bathroom in it. <laughs> I think it does. It does not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Put a hit on the purple one. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Ayes have it. Moving on to reports from committee, starting with administration and finance by Mr. Kenny Hall. Thank you. The closer package is a thank you letter from the Northampton Public. Northampton Area Public Library thanking the borough for the generous contribution of $18,000. Assistant Borough Manager 
Brian Wellsko met with, met with and heard presentations for six potential payroll companies. He will have details and recommend, recommendations for the next meeting. March 21st, council meeting had a total of 150 live stream views. We are pleased to announce the GoGov app and citizen notification has been launched. Closing your packet, um, you will find a QR code to download the app. Please note that you must create an account selected as a notification that you would like to receive and a report. Thank you. Building Land and Recreation, Ms. Haldeman. Thank you. The Easter egg hunt was an excellent success. Thank you, for every, thank you to everyone who came out and supported the event. Applications are being accepted at the borough office for any and all positions at the pool. Park permits open for non-residents on April 2nd, 2024. And due to inclement weather on March 24th, the Equinox Music and Arts Festival is rescheduled for Saturday, April 6th, 2024 in the Municipal Park. And a report. Thank you. Uh, one correction, that should be March 23rd, I believe. Saturday. Yeah, March 23rd. Thank you. Code and police, Mr. Stone. Yes, thank you. Uh, in closing your packet, you will find a code report and rental program uh, in income report. The compliance rate for March was 88.06%. Uh, the Northampton Borough Police Department will be hosting their annual fishing contest on April 20th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, tickets are at $15 and food and entry in the event raffle. And report. Thank you. Fire and Health, Mrs. Um. Thank you. In closing your packets is the Board of Health meeting minutes held on March 26th and a summary report covering the February 28th through March 26th. The Northampton Fire Department and Police Department will hold their annual golf tournament at Whitehall Golf Club in Bath, PA on Saturday, May 4th. Registration starts at 7 a.m. For more information, please see the Spring Borough Newsletter, which can be found on the website. Applications are still available for the Northampton Fire Department Summer Camp being held from July 8th through July 12th. And a report. Thank you. Public Works and Sewer, Mr. Plastic. Thank you. The applications are still being accepted for the Public Works summer employees at the borough office. A meeting was held with the sewer plant on April 2nd with Mr. Brokes, Mr. Welsko, and Scott Gillespie, and two representatives of Gilmore and Associates to discuss the notice of violations provided to DEP. Gilmore is preparing a response for the, the DEP. Uh, those reports are available if you need them. I did request them from the borough manager today, and he forwarded them to me, so we are looking at that. Materials have been purchased for an upgrade of the foundation and sludge containers at the sewer plant. The upgrade will be finished in the upcoming week. End the report. Well, thank you, sir. Moving on to reports from council members, starting with Mr. Hall. <coughs> thank you. Um, we have one. Um, parking, parking in the yellow areas, and I understand the yellow areas without a company sign, it's only a courtesy and whatever. But they're starting to park in areas right out to, um, my wife actually commented and ironically enough, the car did get hit. It was a non-reported accident and they didn't get called. I wish they would have because they would have saw how close they were right up to the corner of this alley. But there, you can't seem to pull out of these intersections and to look up or down the street, they're just so far out to the to the corner where you pull out, or those who pull in, turn around to back up to park or do whatever. Um, Where's this located? No, one of them's right in, in Station Alley. There. And with the traffic flying through there when they're getting off of 21st Street, uh, is just insult to injury on top of, but uh, yeah, on Sunday morning, Easter morning, that was uh, the neighbor's gift when their mirror was taken off their, their car because, you know, church traffic and everything else going up the street. And one zigged when he should have zagged. And, <laughs> but um, they are, especially up in that area, and there's some areas over in Dewey and a couple of others just going for walks. But it's all, it's all over. They're parking too close to fire hydrants. They're parking too close to stops. They're parking right up, right up to stop signs. I thought it was you got to at least stay 15 feet away from stop signs. But 
I know parking is getting to be a minimum. Oh, over the place, it's an issue everywhere. Well, maybe we can have a look, a little watch out on some of these areas. I said, there. My wife ironically just said, I hope my car don't get hit. She said, whenever this is the bus as dumb as she parks and the neighbor, not my wife. Uh, but lo and, be, lo and behold, Sunday morning, you know, neighbors are out meeting and greeting each other, you know, apologizing for taking the mirrors off their, their own vehicles. So, I mean, I was told that the yellow is only a courtesy. You have to have parking signs accompanying it. You know, but what do, why do we waste the paint for our paint? Why do we waste the paint and the time to paint the curbs? There's a savings. I understand that's rhetorical. And a report. <laughs> thank you. <coughs> Mr. Stone. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, so I scanned the QR code for the GoGov uh, app. It looks good, Brian, so thank you for that. Um, the Will we be able to get the uh, list of NOVs that we received from DEP? I'm sorry, what? The NOVs, the notice of violations. I got them. You actually had it. Yeah. Can you send those to me as well? Now? I will. I mean, Leroy forwarded it to me this afternoon already. I can, uh, I can send that scan to everybody. Okay. I yeah. have it. If, if I could review them, it'd be great. Uh, that's all I have. Any report? Let me make a note. Thank you. Ms. Hall? I just um, want to, uh, there was a part in our packet about from the um, NBMA, and I, I want to thank their staff also. Um, if you notice that we had uh, zero delinquent sewer accounts, I think that they're to be commended for going after and staying on top of that. So um, thank you to them. And also, I wanted to just comment. I know he's got a few more days left, but I want to um, send my thanks and best wishes to Greg Morey after his 40 plus years of service to our borough in a wonderful way. And uh, he's going to be missed. He will be replaced, but he will be missed. So best wishes to him. And uh, I yield back the balance of my time. Well done. Well done. The balance of your time. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Solicitor and borough manager for getting that letter out to Norfolk Southern. I'm just interested to know if we received any replies from them. We have not as of yet. Okay, and we may not, I guess, but it's documented, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, adding on to the rental report that Mr. Stone had provided, there are total, there's a total known rental properties of 536. Of those, 472 are registered. Certified letters for the non-compliant uh, properties will be mailed next week with a late fee of $25 added, which will be a total of $65 versus the standard 40. Those who do not meet the second deadline, citations go out, which will cost them $500 plus court fees. The code enforcement uh, concern report, there, are three, there were eight items for the month of March. Three are closed, five are in process. They're in progress, yeah. Um, water leaking in and around a chimney in the third floor apartment is closed. And two of them were garbage putting out early and blowing in the streets and alleys in the property of the residents and also neighbors. Those are closed. The ones that are open are motor vehicles that are inoperable um, properties and they also may be out of inspection or emission. And there is one rubbish on the front porch and side of the residence that's still in progress. The fire police report for the month of March, there were 31 fire calls, responders 94, 10 MVAs, responders 33, for a total of 56 calls and a total of 167 responders. And last but not least, the health officer's report for the month, Mar bleh, month of March. Ongoing inspections and consultations with retail food facilities continue. There were four license renewals for the month of March. Temporary food licenses were issued to the three vendors who participated in the Equinox event. They uh, consulted with the organizers of the Paw Prints on the Canal regarding the licensee of food vendors at their event and that is scheduled for June 9th. Consultant with the borough solicitor regarding the ordinances for the licensing of temporary food vendors operating in the borough. 
renovations are still ongoing for new locations of the Galeon Deli. Did they review plans for the new food service preparation area at the fire station? And consulted with the PA Agriculture regarding computer updates for the food safety reporting system. End of report. Thank you. Can Mr. I ask a question for her, please? Yes. Did you ask, did they do the Equinox already? Is that what it said? No. No. This Saturday, this April Saturday, 6th. Oh, according to our report, I thought it said that they did an inspection on it. On the food service. He has that in his notes, but I didn't say what day. Um, it was supposed to be held on the 23rd, but because of the weather, it didn't, right? Right. Yeah. Correct. So how could he do the inspection? Uh, no. Licenses were issued. Oh, licenses. Yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah. Okay. I thought there was an inspection. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Donahue. I have absolutely nothing tonight. We'll make it up. Well, thanks for coming. Works. They took my, took away from me. They fixed the two potholes. Okay. So I have nothing. Well, we're very thankful for public works. That's uh, indeed. Thank you, Mr. Boris. I'll make up for your time. Good. In this last month. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, I do want to say before we go any further, uh, we are going to miss Greg Mori, and I wish him wish him the very be very best. Um, in his retirement. I know he's off for the next couple of weeks, but I'm sure he'll be a phone call away if we need to ask him questions, which I'm sure we are going to. And I know we'll be in good hands with the people that we select. A um, couple things. Uh, thank you, Mr. Welsko, for the My Northampton. I did download that as well, but I, I got a notification and I didn't sign up. So I don't know if we'd have to sign up with more things because I received the notification that our meeting came up tonight that came out, but I didn't sign in and do any kind of other thing. So you, maybe you can clarify if we have to sign up for that. No, but just downloading it, you automatically get every notification. Perfect. Creating an account allows you to choose which notifications you want. Oh, okay. That might be good to set up an account thing because I don't want every notification. Um, thank you, though, for that. I thought that was great. It is the time of year before we get too, further, too far along into the spring as gutters, weeds, grass is starting to grow. After we have this rain, if it ever stops and the sun comes out, we are gonna have weeds everywhere. You can see them already developing. And I'm gonna ask that we start early on and keep on top of it and not just let it get out of hand. So please, it's out there to the public. I also wanna thank Ms. Allman for bringing up about the rental reports. That's something we have to stay on for the people that do pay it on time mm -hmm. and ahead of time. Make sure the people that don't do get fined and get the citations. So we have a consistency across the board. So thank you for bringing that up. Uh, thank you for mentioning about the potholes. I know they were out there doing some, and there is many. I'm sure there's more gonna be popping up. And speaking of that, 10th Street, they were digging UGI, our Great Western again today, closed the street down, most of it. Um, are we ever repaving that whole street? Yes. That is gonna get repaved this year? Yes. Okay. Mr. Hall told me it would be a nightmare for years to come, and it's still going on. Um, I noticed the paving that they did on Main Street, it's not in my ward, but it's Main Street, we drive up, they're starting to pop up over there, that thin coat of yeah. tissue paper that they put down is really coming up, so it's great job security for them that put that layer down, which was the state, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can get a grant for them too. Um, just <laughs> making friends, I know, right and left, but we need to make sure that we take care of it. I think we brought up about the sidewalk last time, I wanna thank the two People have brought up, are we doing anything with these sidewalks and not just the one on 10th Street, but other areas also? That would be something that the code officer would address probably when he goes around with the weeds and the gutter and the Perfect. Side, curbing and all that. He'll be busy this year then. I'll put a star on that one. Thank you so much. Um, that is it. Thank you so much for everything. I'm done. Sure. Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Cadell. Uh, my question is for the solicitor, is there anything else going on with the, the vendors for the farmer's market? Is it going to be set at one price or? I've had no further inquiries into the matter. I've provided um, the law and had no further inquiries. I'm happy to work with the borough in any way um, to <laughs> set policy, draft resolutions, whatever it may be, but no one has reached out to me in that regard. I've said this is the law, this is how we have to proceed. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And also, I'd like to give a shout out to the uh, fire and rescue mm -hmm. for the 
and the whole staff for their fast arrival at the fire at 16th and Newport. They did a very good job. And one other thing I'd like to see at the uh, lock 39, what is it, 39? Lock, I'd like to see a pedestrian walk on, this, on Canal Street and Stewart. If we're gonna be doing stuff, like you said, planting the uh, flowers or whatever, you see a lot of people that walk and park to the uh, municipal lot, to the honky hall, to the school. I'd like to see a pedestrian walk in that area. Maybe a pedest stop for pedestrian sign because you do have, uh, I know the school children have their playground, but they're not really fenced in and they kick the balls into the street. I mean, they have guidance out there, but it, there could be a safety issue there for the school. I don't know what we could ask the school to do. Maybe put barriers there when they're out playing. This is a suggestion. <laughs> Sounds good for me. Um, we look into that, <coughs> Mr. Brooks. Got it there. Got it there. Okay. Yeah, star too. You got a star. Yeah. We got a star by that. Yeah, a lot of stars. A lot of stars. Anyhow, Mr. Knopf, anything else? Uh, you nope. finished? That's it. Okay. I want to Which go classic? back one, one question. Ms. Solomon, when you said about the golf tournament, I think you said Whitehall Golf and it's at Whitetail. For the firemen and the golf and the firemen and the police golf outing, okay. it's, it's at White Tail. Thank you. Yeah, just to correct that out there in the public, so they know where they're looking at. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I know you said that, and I thought last, last I heard too, they have. I think Monday it changed from eight to seven the available foursomes left. That was as of Monday. Yeah, I know they're filled. Uh, it was set, it was eight, and I think somebody at the meeting there said said they were getting another so. As far as I know, seven were left at, as of Monday, or meeting on Monday. <clears throat> uh, I just have one thing. Um, in May, I will be getting in contact with the district manager for Susan Wilde, Megan Bestie, and I'm hoping that through this, I will not only can help with my congressional nomination, but I hope I can put in some good word to actually have Susan Wilde come out and visit Northampton and perhaps take a tour of our cement museum or just take a look around town. Okay. Nice. I'm just, I'm hoping that I'm able to put in some good work for that. Thank you. Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Wellsco, the my Northampton is working out beautifully. I received three notifications already. Uh, to my surprise, they just pop up the push notification. So uh, the information is on the borough website and I have the QR code on my uh, Mayor Tony Northampton PA page also. Uh, last call for the Hometown Heroes banner is underway from now until Friday, April 26th. We already had 19 people come in uh, for banners. Uh, I've been stopping in the morning and helping out, uh, parking myself in Council President Kutzler's doorway uh, helping people come in to take some of the load off of the uh, office staff so and making sure that the people that do come in we have them situated well that we won't have any problems to get everything done by April 26 and up for Memorial Day and then complete that project and to my uh, utter joy uh, today's Northampton Press uh, Mason Smolenax team at Northampton High School is featured with the article uh, honoring the borough's hometown heroes. It's all about the school kids, uh, the students, and uh, their passion and their uh, experience in contacting the people. So uh, Mason is the chair of that group. Uh, I'm only there to make sure that I reach the skids for him, but he's doing a fantastic job there with the uh, advisors, uh, Becky Wagner and Gretchen Troxel. So thank them all. So it's a great article, great picture. Do turn into it. And uh, as Councilman Stone mentioned, the fishing contest for the police coming up, always a fun event, especially for the little kids. Uh, some of the fish they stock are, are trophy grade. It's a beautiful event, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. 
Hopefully we'll have the beautiful weather that uh, indicates a great spring day and of course the basket party that goes with it uh, and the great food they serve there is a nice event out for everybody. So uh, do drop in and participate for, uh, for the support of our police force. So that's all I have. Thank you very much, Council President. Thank you. Mr. Brooks, do you have anything else to add? Um, if you take note, the uh, agenda and the manager's report was put together by my assistant, and I think he did a fine job. It took a little uh, pressure off of me, but I was in the background chirping along. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, good work. Um, bit of fond farewell to uh, Greg Morey. I know him a long time, worked with him a long time. Uh, he... He has left his mark on the borough of Nathan. That's all. Any final comments? Okay. Can I get approval to pay the bills? I'll make a motion. Motion made by Mr. Donahue. Do I get a second? Second. And Mr. Blasek, question? Yes. Go ahead, Mr. Blasek. Um, Leroy, the one thing I had was the Willowbrook, it was on the second page, P1, 2142, uh, traffic study, service rendered. What is that for? Uh, Can you give you an account number if you need it, check number, I mean? It's on the second page. Stephen, I guess it's our solicitor. Engineering, I mean. Oh, oh. All right. There he is. Yeah, we, uh, uh, a letter was sent to uh, the developer of Willowbrook Phase 2. They're supposed to uh, uh, have a traffic study done to consider the need for a traffic signal at Fourth and Howard Town, right? And they uh, have yet they have yet to respond on that. I they have yet to respond on that. So we we pay that they won't that won't be part uh, of the development. They are they were billed for that. Oh, they were billed for oh, that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. And then I guess that's the same thing on Lehigh Engineering for another traffic study on the third page, uh, right towards the top, the third one down for $900. Sewer connection, sidewalk, form, inspection, but then the truck uh, traffic survey study. What was that for? Lehigh Engineering? Uh, we had them also involved in that process. And I, <coughs> I guess that's getting billed to them also? Yep. And who's that getting billed to? Ryan Holmes? Yes. Okay, thank you. That's the end of my questions. Okay, any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. I have a motion for an adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn. And Mr. Hall? Second. Second, but I, I didn't hear. Mr. Knapp, any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it.